Right. That's enough of rules and regs. Let's have a look at some cool stuff, shall we? Hey guys, welcome along. This is our third video now on the Tingle Vlogs. Um, I hope you've been enjoying them. If you have been enjoying them, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave us some comments with the kind of stuff that you want us to see because we've covered all sorts of stuff now from race weekend preparations um, through to what is in my kit bag. Uh, and today we are going to look at data. Data analysis, what we look at, how we look at it, um, and some more details like that. Data analysis, what are we looking for? So with the data, we can look at every part of the car. We can see everything that the car is doing. But from a driver's input, we can also see everything that the driver is doing as well. So we can see everything from your steering inputs to your throttle application, your brake inputs, what gear you're in, uh, and everything in between amongst a, a multitude of other things as well. So from a driver's point of view, we can see that from the car, it's endless really. There's loads of stuff, everything from water temperature through to suspension travel to individual wheel speeds um, and everything in between from there. So there's loads and loads of information that we can use on the, on the data. So it's a super, super important part of the weekend. So I'll use this for my preparation before the race weekends. I'll of course use it over the race weekends as well and, and try to work out what I need to do from it. And because you can compare laps it's very easy to overlay. So you'll hear us no end of times talk about, oh, I've been away looking at the data to try and work out what it needs. This is the kind of stuff we're looking at. Now, it uses a sort of uh, sort of a distance time graph thing. I don't really know the, the true answer. I probably should have spent more time at school to work out what it was, but that's another story. So with the data, um, you'll see on screen, and I'll show you on screen in a moment exactly what we're looking at. Now the first thing that you'll see at the top of the screen is the speed that we're doing. Now that is a, um, a figure that's obviously going up and it's coming down depending on the corners that we're getting to. So as we're going in a straight, the line will be coming up. As we then start to break, the line will then start to come down and then it will kind of come back up again. So you'll see the lines will start to look something similar towards that. So that will always be a speed graph. That's the kind of thing that we're looking at. So the faster you're going, of course, the higher the line, the slower the speed, the lower the line. So that would be speed. The next thing that we look at on the graph is steering angle. So that's obviously as we start to input the steering, it would come down. And as we turn the other way, the steering would come up. So it almost looks a little bit like a, I suppose if you're gonna go through a chicane, it would look something like that. Almost look like a, a heartbeat if you were to. So as you start to turn left, as you start to turn right, left, right, etc., etc. So that's the kind of stuff that we look at for steering angle. The next the one that we look at would be throttle, throttle application. Um, and this is a really good way to see how we're coming out the corners and how we're using that throttle pedal. And it's a really, really important part of it. So full power would be a flat line at the top and no power would obviously be a flat line at the bottom. So it would drop as you start to lift off the power. And then as you get back on the power, that line would start to increase. So you'd be full power, then you'd have your lift, no power, and then that would be your throttle application side. So that's another area that we turn, we spend a lot of time looking at to understand what it's doing and how it's working. The next one is brake. It's a flip to the throttle, of course. It stays along the bottom when we're on no brake pressure. Then we jump on the brakes. And then the idea is that you wanna have a really slow, smooth release of brake pressure to control the weight of the car. So ideally we're looking for a line like that no brakes, hard on the brakes, and then we drop off. So to put that into example, my mum was driving, the normal line would look something like that. It would just be a little tiny bulge that you'd effectively get to if you were driving on the road. If you were coming to an emergency stop, it would be a really hard, harsh line, something like that. So that would be your normal driving, that would be an emergency stop, that's the sort of line that we're looking for when we're looking at data and when we're looking at analyzing data. A nice smooth release. The final one, which is super, super easy to understand, is your gear position. So as, e as you drop down each gear, that line then starts to drop. So you'd be six, five, four, three. So your gear position would look something like that. So they're the ideas. That's what kind of what we're looking for. That's what we're looking at on the data analyst side. Now, come on, we'll flip over onto the screen here. So here you can see just a snapshot of some data that I've, uh, that I've got. So you can see here, this would be your speed, this would be steering, 
this would be throttle, brake and gear as well. So that kind of shows you the sort of stuff that we can that we're looking at. So so that's a, a little snapshot of of data that we're that we're sort of looking at. So you can see we're topping out, then we jump on that brake pedal and we go back to that line that we said about how we want it to look something similar to that. So we jump on the brakes hard and bleed off. Now that's kind of the idea that you can see on the screen here now is it bleeds off all the way into the in towards the corner you get. So that will be a little bit of trail braking. You'll have heard of us speak about that no end of times. Trail braking into the corner, a smooth slow release of brake pressure as you turn into the corner to keep the weight of the car on the nose. You then see you can couple that back then with a throttle input on the way out. So again, you'll notice that the line will look similar to that. And these two little spikes you see are throttle blips. So just as you're going down the gear, you just blip the throttle, just enable it to get into the next gear nice and easy. And then you'd have a nice, smooth, slow input of power back on. So you can see here it's from nothing and it's, it's just sort of a balance. It's like quarter throttle, quarter of the complete range of the throttle. And then we're back onto the power after that. So uh, the throttle, uh, sorry, the, the steering angle you can see is wobbling about as you're getting a little bit of oversteer into the corner. So the back of the car is starting to fall away from you. So you'd be on the brakes, down two gears, big blips each one. Then you'd start to turn and then you'd be making ever so slight corrections all the way into the corner. And then you'd be onto the power and driving it off. And you can see on the way out, we pull another gear as we start to go up the hill. So that's a little snapshot of data. I'm not gonna show you too much of this, obviously, because a lot of it is fairly secretive. But along the bottom here, you can see we've got driver, we've got engine, brakes, grip, wheel speed, split reports. So all of this is where all the vital information of our, um, of our car sits. So everything that the engine's doing, so from water temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, etc., etc., et um, and everything else that, that is controlled in the engine. Brakes would be individual wheel speeds and various techniques like that. Grip, wheel speed split. So there's loads and loads and loads of stuff that we can go. I'd love to be able to show you everything into this, but I'd probably get the sack. <laughs> so I won't be showing you too much because I quite like my job as it is. Okay, so there's a bit of a snapshot of data and how we analyze data on race weekends. As I say, it's a super, super important part of race weekends. Really got to be looking out for it because there's loads of stuff you can pick up from it. Um, but that is the idea of data. I hope you enjoyed my squiggly line drawings on my RB Design and Display pen. So that, snapshot of data. Okay, thank you very much for watching guys. If you like the video, um, hi mate. Um, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe and leave us a comment with any other sort of video you'd like us to film.